21 frames for each frame of the video. No kidding. So flicker that moves more slowly needs a higher time radius. No kidding. And sensitivity controls how isolated the flicker is in a specific area. So if you have something like a time lapse where the flicker is on the whole frame, you want a higher sensitivity. And then something like this where it's isolated to a particular part of a shot and it's trying to detect these individual bands, you want mm -hmm. a lower sensitivity. Okay, got it. And then the other controls are for motion compensation. So if you have all of that off and you are analyzing all these frames, it's going to blur the shot. Okay. So the motion compensation tries to prevent that. And there's a couple different options. There's, I mean, this one's called good fast because it's good mm -hmm. a lot of the time and it's fast. And then there is a more render intensive slower one mm -hmm. that is better in some situations. But different controls that you can just try in a short section of the footage to see what combination works the best. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. We have a free demo if you just want to download you know, like it on our this website. one. Or um, like different Yeah. That's their one too. Oh they're, they're yeah. oh, different one. They're our friends so like, Okay, okay, cool. gotcha. Try both, but this is um, this is all of our products and the website link is where you can download the, the demos. Okay, sure. Thanks for helping. Cool. Do you mind if I scan your QR oh, code? Sure. Alright, thanks. Thank you.